In this video, I will show you two different ways in which you can do a full anti-join in Power Query. So a full anti-join, what do we mean with that? It's something that is not supported in the user interface, but it's useful if you want to look at the records that are visible in one query and not in the other, and then also looks at what is visible in the other, but not in the first query. So in the data set that I have, I have one dating set, data set with a morning class, and there is another one with an afternoon class. So students are supposed to show up both in the morning and the afternoon, but it doesn't always happen. So if you're curious about which of the students show up for one of the classes, you would first have to know the people that show up in the morning class, but not in the afternoon class. And you would also have to know the students that show up in the afternoon class and not in the morning class. That's a little bit of, of a background on what that anti-join can do. Now I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way focuses on combining two different joins in the same query. So let's say we have these queries here. First of all, we're going to, we're going to have a new query here where the full anti-join will be. You can select the afternoon class and out here, we're curious about both the student and the class. And then we can do the left anti-join. And what is expected here is in the first query, we find students one, two, three. And the second, we only find the students two, three. So four and five are not in the first one. And in the first one, the ones that are visible is only the single one here. So a logical answer here is that only the first student is here. So full anti-join v1. Now we're only halfway. So we're looking now only at uh, the, the, ones, the students that are missing from the afternoon class, but that are visible in the morning class. That's student number one. Now what you can do is you can remove these, remove other columns, so that this last column disappears. For the next step, what I prefer to do is you can copy the code here for the left anti-join. And then in the bottom of the same query, you can add a custom step and you just copy paste that entire code. And it's identical right now, but the only thing you'll have to switch is that the morning class will become the afternoon class and the afternoon class will become the morning class. And the same out here. And just like in the previous tab, you can then remove the last column. So remove other columns here. I've copied two different queries in the same, uh, the same applied steps view. So this one has a left anti-join based on the morning class. And the step here has a left anti-join based on the afternoon class. So if I were you, I would then rename it to anti-join the first one. And this is the result of the anti-join, the second one. And if you want to see the students that missed either of the classes, but were available in the other, you can go to append queries. And you're going to first of all, append it with itself. And as a result, you can see in the formula bar here that it's uh, the join that happened was the anti-join two, which is the previous step. And I did that twice. So if we want to change that, you can just take the first formula here and change it to number one. And now all of a sudden these two are combined and this is your full anti-join. So the list of people here, they went to one of the classes, but not to the other. Okay. That's one way. There is another way in which you can do this. Another way could be you start in one of the queries, for example, morning class. You can go to append queries as new. And the first step you'll do is append the morning class and the afternoon class. Let me rename this to full anti-join v2. So now we have everything here. What you could then do is you select the first two columns here. We're going to find the unique values of these. So what you can do is you can go to group by in the home tab. Then it's going to return us all the unique combinations of student and classes. So it doesn't look at the session yet. And then we're going to count the amount of times that uh, we find the student and class combination. And since we want to know to what session they went, we're going to go and add another line with all row. 
and we call this details. Okay. So for us, it's important to know which students went to both uh, both classes and which students went to only one of them. The ones that went only to one class will have a count of only one. So if we filter on only one here, we find these students only went to one class. And then the table object here shows us all the group rows for that single line. So if you expand this and only select the session, you will find its classes as well. And then we can remove other columns and you'll have a second version of the anti-join. And these two are identical. So I hope this was helpful for you because the anti-join is not available in the user interface. And I think it would be a valuable addition to it. My preference has version number one because it's clean and quick and it's all happening in a single query. If you know another way, do let me know in the comments and like this video if this added any value. Until next time.